This is a follow-up video to a video I posted previously about jumping through all sorts of hoops to get your Tarot T2D gimbal functioning properly. And what I'm going to demonstrate in this video is how you set up your gimbal tilt to be controlled by your knob on a Free Sky Tyrannus. Now you can see that right there I'm at the center point and as I go down, see we're all the way down, back to center, and then up. So this video will talk about the wiring to your receiver, the configuration software to get this set up, as well as your FreeSky Tyrannus configuration. So let's talk about wiring first. Now I'm trying to show you the top of the gimbal board as it's mounted inside the gimbal. There are nine pins and you'll notice on the top row there's C, T, and R. And in our case we want to deal with the T. The T and R stand for tilt and roll. So we want to get the tilt pin wired up as well as one of the ground pins. And the easiest way I found to connect the gimbal was with the default cable that it comes with. You'll see that there are the three leads that are broken out into individual leads. Now what I actually had to do is for the signal pin, I had to move it from one of the end ports into the middle. So that will allow us to get our tilt and our ground plugged in correctly. So the tilt is the middle pin in the top row. And then what I'll do on the third row, it's P plus and minus. I'll connect the ground to the minus pin. And now you can see our tilt and our ground pins are connected. Now here's the magical bit of information that's going to make this work. This is the X8R manual. And if you look at, by default, you probably have configured it in mode five. That gives you your channel one through channel eight setup. Well, since we're using SBUS, those first eight channels are reserved for SBUS, and we need to use channels 9 through 16. So we're going to go with mode 4, and to get that, you'll see that we need a jumper channel 1 and 2 together, and channel 3 and 4. And you'll see those two jumpers on the signal pins of 1 and 2, and 3 and 4. So next, we'll create a new model. Just call it, by default, this is going to be model 13. I'm going to go into the first menu setup screen and what we'll do here we want D16 mode and then for channel range I'm going to select up to 16 so that's the key you want channel 1 through channel 16 so now we'll go ahead and bind I'll hit enter and you guys have seen this process before so I'm not going to go through it basically hit the fail safe switch on the X8R power up with those two jumpers in place and we'll have a good bind. Okay, I've powered down the system and my Tyrannus. We're gonna go ahead and pull these two jumpers out. Now we can run the tilt lead from our gimbal control board to channel one on the X8R, which is actually gonna represent channel nine here in a minute when we configure this. Okay, here's the last thing we need to do with our Tyrannus. I'm gonna go to page six and we'll go down to channel nine, as you'll see here. Now if you recall, channel 1 through 8 are being used with SBUS. When we did the bind, we actually specified we wanted 16 channels in mode 4. And what that gives us is channels 9 through 16 on the actual pins of our X8R receiver. So I hope that made some sort of sense. Now I'm going to go down to source. I'll hit enter. I'm going to move the slider, which is RS. Hit enter and our configuration is done. And the last thing I'd like to do just to verify that that's working, I'll go to the channel monitor and we'll look at channel nine. I'm moving this slider and you can see the bar moving along with it. Now our last step is to use the gimbal configuration software. And now that we're connected to the gimbal configuration software, what I'll do is I'll set this straight up. If you remember in the last video, the sensor's on the back here, so we want it to be flat. So we'll put that straight up and then I'll zero out my slider switch. So right as you get to the middle, you can fill a little notch where we know that it's zeroed out. Now with everything centered, I'll go ahead and click Calibrate Sensors. Now what you should see as I move this slider, you'll notice that the tilt values are changing. So you can see that it goes from about 87 to minus 100. That shows me that our switch is now correctly configured. And we'll leave the default mode at stick rate mode and we'll go ahead and click motor on. And here's what we should see. I'm going to adjust the slider and you can see the camera tilts down. Now, something about stick rate mode is based on the amount of PWM that you're giving 
this channel will be the speed at which the gimbal tilts. So if I go all the way down, it's going to tilt really fast. Then I can bring it up and slow it down. Or I can move it all the way up at full speed. And so that's basically how the rate mode works. But for me, I'm kind of a stick position mode guy. So I'm going to go ahead and change that to stick position mode and show you guys how that works. So now we're in stick position mode and this is definitely more intuitive to me. We're at the center location, the zero location on this slider and I'm going to go ahead and go down. And what happens is you'll notice that the camera follows the position. So if I go all the way up, you can see that the camera is pointing up and if I go into the middle, the camera is pointing straight ahead. And the beauty of the tilt mode is I'll go all the way down so that the camera is pointed face down and you'll notice that even with that setting we still have our stabilization working. I know that was a bit long and drawn out but I wanted to share that process as it was quite a challenge for me to get this set up. And once again the, the magic piece of information is really making sure that if you're using SBUS and you want to get your additional eight channels you need to configure your X8R in mode 4. So you'll get 1 through 8 on SBUS, 9 through 16 on the physical pins that you connect your servos, in this case our brushless gimbal motors. And these slider knobs have definitely come in very handy on this Tyrannus. They're perfect for gimbal control. So thanks to all of you for your feedback on the initial video and I hope this follow-up was useful. Until next time, thanks for watching.